like and subscribe to the channel. This motivates me to make the video better. Uber and Lyft drivers, what's your most NSFW story? Wasn't really NSFW, but on my second day doing Uber one of the clients was on house arrest, Dave. Dave was a cool guy. He wanted me to buy him some wine and smokes from the gas station, he even trusted me with his card plus PIN. When I get back I decide to just have a smoke with him. That turns into us doing take I in his backyard at 2am. Really cool dude Dave was. Hope he turned his life around. Oh shit I have never thought about doing that. Great idea if you're sick or particularly lazy. I would use cash though. Same friend, three occasions over a year. Guy was drunk and pulled his pants off and started playing with himself. Girl decided she was happy and pulled her top off for her other friend that wasn't so drunk to feel her up, friend apparently flipped out. Guy passed out drunk so he checked and his pulse was low, took him to the hospital, turned out the guy was overdosing on Xanax and alcohol and he saved his life. Xanas are not something to fuck with. Picked up this very tall and somewhat muscular looking black girl carrying what looks like a tackle box. She was dressed somewhat, risque. Gets in the car, and I said hello, she responds with a pretty deep voice. We started the trip, and she was telling me that she was on her way to do MacUp for one of her friends, and her phone rang. She answered the call, and it started off pretty standard, I wasn't really paying attention. Suddenly I just hear girl, what are you worried about? You have a great look in clit. Mm. Alright then. Where's this going? No, Derek is super sweet, it'll be fun I promise. No girl, he's just gonna come through the doors. Yes I'll be there. I'll be outside the doors as one of the topless guards. Anyway, he's going to pan through doors, focusing on you on the bed. Just start playing with yourself, nothing you haven't done before. Yes, after a few minutes of doing that you call for the guards, and I come in and we fuck. Yes I brought the strap on, it's in the Macute box. And that's the story of the person planning their porno during an Uber ride. My friend told me about a couple who got into his car. They were slightly drunk talking nonsense to each other, so he didn't pay much attention, just kept driving and occasionally checking on them through the rear view mirror. Eventually the girl got quiet, so he checked in the mirror and didn't see her, and my innocent friend thought she was asleep and even laughed about it with the guy. Well, not long after that he passed a speed bump and heard the guy saying oh shit, at the same time a gurgling sound was heard and a smell of booze plus SOUR filled up the whole car. So yeah, the girl was sucking off her boyfriend slash whatever, the speed bump caused her to deep throat and vomit all over the back seat and my poor friend still had to drive around with a vomit smelling car. At least they rated him 5 stars. A mate of mine drives Grab, which is basically a Southeast Asian version of Uber. Once picked up a guy and three girls. Turned out the guy was a pimp and the girls were hookers, and the four were being tailed by the cops for illicit prostitution. And my friend was forced to involve. Long story short, they got stopped by the cops and my friend explained that it was his birthday and they were going to an orgy for his birthday. And no, no orgy for him. He did get a nice tip though edit, next time I better make it clear what tip I'm talking about. I was in Santa Ana, California looking for a guy I was supposed to pick up. He lived in a large cul-de-sac with a small park in the center. It happened to be later in the evening when I went to pick him up. I go through the cul-de-sac once pretty slowly as I can't find his house. I decided to do a second round of the cul-de-sac. And when I get a quarter of the way through two guys emerge from the park, and one of them pulls out his pistol and asked, what the fuck you doing in my neighborhood? I decide to act really calm and just let him know that I'm with Uber and was unable to find a passenger and who I was looking for. He says, oh you looking for and am name he's at the top of the cul-de-sac blue house. I thanked him for his help and cancelled on my rider. Fuck that shit. If it counts, 20 plus years ago I drove for a sedan service. 
I picked up one of the temptations and took him to get drugs and a hooker. It certainly wasn't safe for my work at the time, but everything worked out okay. He came out of a luxury resort and gave me a sketchy address. When we arrived, it was an abandoned convenience store, so he told me he was looking for some company. Yeah, I knew where to find that, and along the way, he said he was looking for some medicine, too, so we stopped in the ghetto and got him something to smoke. Cold bean weed, or crack or anything, I don't know, and I didn't ask. After being told fuck you, cop more than once, we found a pretty young lady of the evening. He asked where she's been all night, she said she's been right there waiting for him, she got in the car, they kissed and groped in the backseat on the way back to the resort, and he gave me a decent tip, INB for the inquiry, no, it was not David Ruffin. This wasn't me, and it isn't NSFW, but I think it's worth sharing. One driver told me that one time this guy got in his Uber without putting in the destination, this guy was in his mid-40s, wearing an all-black suit and wearing sunglasses. Didn't take them off. He also had a briefcase that he put on his lap. Anyway so he sits in the car and points forwards. So the driver takes off. They didn't speak the entire journey. It was about 40 minutes. To tell the driver where to go the passenger just pointed left or right. Anyway, the driver tells me that he was shitting himself the entire time and genuinely thought he was going to die, but was too scared to stop. So finally they pull over at this really big old house that he described as the most mafia looking house I've ever fucking seen. The guy takes off his glasses, looks at the driver, and says th 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 thank yuv very mm much turned out he just had a really big stutter and nothing else. Not an Uber slash Lyft driver, but I did drive for a taxi company. I had a fare where two drunk people who were making out in the back of my cab. This isn't unusual on its own, happens quite often, just gotta stop them before shit gets out of hand. Well, one of them decides to stop making out and says to me don't tell anyone, okay? Curious, I ask why, he responds we are cousins and we don't want our family to find out then they went back to making out again. I didn't once think they could have possibly been cousins, never saw either people before or after. Could have just kept his mouth shut and I'd never have known, why would you disclose that information to a stranger? Couple role playing exhibition slash incest fantasy to spice things up. While I've had a few crazy rides my buddies takes the cake. Around 1am on a Saturday he gets a ping that's at 200% surge near the bars. He picked up a well dressed man who's sober and once he's in the car he asked to be taken to the casino. He was picked up in Dallas and the casino is in Oklahoma. Feeling bad he warned the guy are you sure that's a 70 mile trip and you're on 200% surge. Guy says it's fine and he's happy my buddy is getting paid. They enjoy a nice trip and have some normal talk, and once they get to the casino my buddy ended the ride and netting himself $300. The guy then realizes he doesn't have a ride home, so he makes a deal with my friend. Look I'm gonna go gamble for a few hours if I give you $250 now will you wait, and when? I come point back I'll give you a N-O-T-H-E-R dollar sign 250 for waiting, and another dollar sign 500 for the trip back. Buddy agrees and takes a nap until guy I'd done. Guy comes back and gives him the cash and they head back home. During the small talk the guy says look you've been great and seemed like a stand up guy. I want to throw another $500 your way if you let me suck your dick. This dude wanted to pay my friend 500 just to suck his dick. When you ask him what happened next he just laughs and says well rent was due and if the worst way to make $500 bucks is a pretending a chick is blowing you then it's not so bad TLDR. Driver makes $1300 for an 8 hour drive and agreeing to let a guy blow him. So my dad is an Uber driver and he says that girls my age, I'm in my early 20s, will drunkenly try to make him go home with them all the time. One time there were three girls who drunkenly were singing to Taylor Swift and they made my dad record them singing the song and then they made him sing some of the lyrics. He showed me the clip of them singing and him singing later it was hysterical. 
Then they invited him to go to the next bar with them, but he had to keep working. Also one time an Uber driver told me a girl tried to drunkenly make him hook up with her at her house, but he said no cause he's married. And when she got out of the car she gave him the middle finger and turned around and lifted up her miniskirt and flashed him lol. I guess Uber drivers get lots of ladies. Was actually a drunk passenger. Took an Uber to my weed dealer's house and the driver totally figured it out. After I got two steps out of the car, he sped off. Got pretty high before walking home May 10th said it. Apparently I might be dyslexic. Thanks as viewing. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like it. In the next video, I will open the third eye.